And this is how a professional thumbnail is prepared, just before taking the final screenshot, right? <laughs> Moving on to the review of Running on Empty from 1988. With Cher, Winona Ryder and Bob Hoskins. And there is a trio, uh, the mother and two daughters, who start dancing to if you wanna be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty woman your wife. Because the film cost around $7 million and it grossed worldwide something over $2 million. Stephen King's Cat's Eyes. Hi there, guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel called Blast and Past. And this time around I have a film from 1988 and this is the motion picture called Running on Empty directed by the legendary Sidney Lamet and starring in one of the roles Young River Phoenix. So probably for those uh, things alone it is worth revisiting or worth checking out if it's your first time with this motion picture. Generally it's a semi-true story uh, a very realistic one, and definitely it's a slice of life type of film. A drama, very well acted, very gripping, uh, touching and emotional. Uh, I've seen it for the first time ever. I saw it one week ago and I was blown away. It is a long film, but you can't feel it. When you are succumbed into the narrative, time just keeps flying like hell. Without further ado, as always, let's get ready for a quick ride, my short take on Running on Empty. River Phoenix. 20 years ago, his parents protested the Vietnam War. And here is the Polish edition of Running on Empty from 1988. And here is the front cover. Here is the spine. And here is the back. And here is the disc. I can't say that it's mint condition, because it leaves much to be desired. Generally it's a used item, and apparently it was a part of some library. Because I can see some signatures, some markings on the cover, inside, so this is the, one of the indicators that it must have been a part of some library, which rented a films to uh, their customers, to the clients. Uh, this is a great artifact, a blast from the past, isn't it? His whole life, he's been paying the price of their beliefs. Look what we're doing to these kids. They've been running their whole lives like criminals. Regarding this DVD release, although this format has its obvious limitation, regarding the space, regarding the resolution, the colors, uh, the picture quality really delivers for this format. Having that in mind and taking this one into account, because I know that there is a Blu-ray version and if I'm not mistaken I may even have it, but I don't know where, so I've decided to uh, pop in this DVD release and I was more than pleased with the picture quality. The details are there, this is the full screen presentation, no margins, I love it, because it smells of the 80s, it's so typical. Running on Empty, directed by Sidney Lumet. And this is what we get here, so we have the full screen, it's filled to the brim, and that's why you are immersed into the narrative even more. Like you were there, like you were a passive observer, just having a look into the intimate details of uh, their lives, the lives of the protagonists. So this is just another great film about this uh, otherwise still uh, very good motion picture. That even this mere DVD release, which is a uh, quite a rare item right now on the market, is still worth picking up. What is this sort of smart ass joke you're taking cooking? I want to learn how to cook. This emotionally driven drama is about a couple, a married couple, uh, Annie and Arthur, uh, who uh, have been on the run for many many years. Because when they were younger, they planted a bomb, explosive material, in one of laboratories researching napalm for the Vietnam War, and it went away. Apart from the explosion, uh, which is uh, bad enough, there was somebody maimed, uh, a janitor, who wasn't even supposed to have been in the building. That happened by accident, but unfortunately because of that they were forced to run and they have two children. And the children also need to carry this burden on their shoulders. Alas. You can't keep running away from something that you had nothing to do with. You deserve your own chance. Their beloved offsprings keep changing schools, uh, changing the environment, uh, together with their parents. Whenever the FBI or some other uh, authorities are on their back, then they need to change, then they need to move. 
uh, and it's always like living on a ticking time bomb. You never know when the time may come. You may never be close to anybody because uh, today you may be here and you've been here for many years even but then something happens and you have to be on the constant run just like they are so this is why it's so sad and uh, emotionally driven because there are many conflicts because of that uh, can you imagine being uh, woken up uh, in the middle of the night with the phrase that kids let's pack we need to run right now pack only the most important things, but they know the protocol and they know what is going on, especially River Phoenix character, who is a very well written, uh, ambitious teenager who has a softer side to him because he loves music. Sidney Lamet is uh, very good at directing dramas, films which could be called a uh, slice of life, because you care for all the characters. They have their convictions, they have their own set of values, but you may root for them and for the family. They are just likable people who find themselves in very difficult circumstances. That's why it has this special appeal and the universal one that you may just side with them, although they did a despicable thing and somebody was maimed for life in that. The only questionable thing is whether they should subject their children to that misery and the miserable life, but this is a wide topic which is open for discussion and if you have some take on that, please let me know in the comment section below. Well, I'm afraid I lost his records. They gave them to me and I know I packed them, but I just can't find them. I would say that the cast does a stellar job and right now on the screen we had the father portrayed by Judd Hirsch, who actually got a lot of criticism for this role, that he wasn't the right fit for the character. I don't agree. I think that everybody is uh, cast uh, very, very well. And River Phoenix, we could say that this is a one voice show because he steals every single scene he appears in. Uh, that was a great opportunity for him. And that's a shame that his career was cut short. I fell apart. It didn't even make any sense because he died of drug abuse, so this is very sad. And we have still his brother, Joaquin Phoenix, who is even on a bigger rise thanks to the participation in the first Joker film and the upcoming sequel. Of course, he's a very well-known actor uh, with many roles in his portfolio, but it is a real pity, a shame that we'll never find out what River Phoenix, his younger brother, might have become. Alas. Albeit Running on Empty is a serious drama, it's not sappy and there are some brighter moments. There is a love relationship between a River Phoenix character and uh, his love interest whom he meets at school and he shares some secrets with her, but also there is a fantastic scene in which the whole family starts dancing to music. They start busting a move spontaneously and you can see that they enjoy it and this is so well acted and this is uh, fantastic because you can see that even in the darkest of times, in the gloomy moments, there are always some bright rays of sunshine in our grim existence and that scene is very nice. I've seen lonely times when I could not find you sure there's a Phillips kid? And it reminds me a little bit of a similar scene, similar sequence in Mermaids with Cher, Winona Ryder and Bob Hoskins. And there is a trio, uh, the mother and two daughters, who start dancing to If you wanna be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty woman your wife. And this is great. If you wanna be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty woman your wife. I don't remember exactly the song which uh, plays in this one and uh, they dance too, but this is uh, also fantastic. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. <laughs> here we also have some pieces of trivia on the film from IMDb and here comes the first one about the softer side of the main protagonist, the boy played by River Phoenix. Although River Phoenix learned all the hand motions to the piano pieces his character performs in the movie, the audio was dubbed by a professional pianist. But it looks really realistic, if I may say so. The movements, I'm no professional piano player, I don't have any expertise in that, and no education on that, but it looks great on the screen and you could believe it that actually it was River Phoenix playing the compositions on the piano.
and here is another piece of trivia regarding the semi-genuine parts of the film, which uh, the plot is based on, and here it goes. The bombing that the popes had carried out is loosely based on the August the 24th, 1970 bombing of Sterling Hall on the University of Wisconsin campus in Madison. Wisconsin during the height of the Vietnam protest era, in which a physics postdoctoral researcher named Robert Fasnacht was killed. Coincidentally, River Phoenix, so Danny Pope, the character, was born on August 23rd, 1970. No reason to think they're onto us yet, so stay calm. Judd Hirsch. Who are your parents, Ozzy and Harriet? And here's the last one. The film was number 10 on Roger Ebert's list of the best films of 1988. And in his review, he does praise it. Uh, he has nothing but good things to write about it. About the cast, about the characters, about River Phoenix, how gripping it is, and Sidney Lamet as a director and his work. And I can only agree with uh, his uh, praise for the film. I was wondering if Michael had ever mentioned anything to you about his old school. I'm a liar. My name isn't Michael. Regarding the critical reception of the film, currently it has the average rating on IMDb of 7.2 out of 10, so very high. On Rotten Tomatoes that would be 81%, so also a very uh, notable score. And Roger Ebert named it also as one of the best films of the year 1988. However, financially it was a disaster. I mean, Sidney Lamet was not very lucky with the box office, because the film cost uh, around $7 million dollars, but it grossed worldwide only something over two million dollars. So that was a debacle, that was a financial fiasco, alas, but definitely the film is worth checking out. And right now nobody remembers about the numbers, but people do remember about his great masterpieces, his uh, works, his films, and this is definitely one of the films which may be considered even a must-see, especially if you are a fan of this prolific director. A story of love, loyalty, and letting go. Regarding Sidney Lamet, uh, this is incredible. That in the 1970s, the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, he had so many great motion pictures. Just to name a few, not in any particular order. There was Serpico, Anderson's Tapes, uh, The Morning After, Prince of the City, which I have reviewed. Oh, come on up! Look at him! Treat Williams is Prince of the City. Find Me Guilty, it's a newer film, a little bit from the 2000s. And his final masterpiece, there was Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. It's over. Don't take it out on my friends here. Are we are gonna go traveling. Nothing but the best is good enough. With uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman, alas. Ethan Hawke. This is a gripping drama, a thriller. There's two terminated employees from your department still drawing checks. Our future. Mm -hmm. We can do it. And it will keep you at the edge of your seat until the very last uh, minutes of the screening. Uh, highly recommended, although this is his newer work, because like I said, I think it's from 2007, in the 2000s, still it is as good as his best motion pictures before. And this one... Why do you have to carry the burden of someone else's life? It may be a little bit obscure, it's not so well known, you don't associate it with Sidney Lamet immediately when you hear Running on Empty with River Phoenix, but trust me, it's a good pick. And with Sidney Lamet, you can almost never go wrong. That's for sure. Jane Fonda, <laughs> Jeff Bridges, The Morning After, Can Be Murder. Opens Thursday. Check newspapers for theaters. And here on the screen is River Phoenix playing, quite convincingly, the piano. Although uh, the voice, although the sounds, they were dubbed by a professional piano player, it looks very convincing, doesn't it? You have to admit, and River Phoenix, he shows such potential, so much talent it is, that it really is a shame that he left this world prematurely. He, maybe he passed away at the age of 23 or 5, and he could have been a great actor. I remember another film which has uh, many similarities actually with this one, with Running on Empty, and that was Lil Nikita with uh, Sidney Poitier, the great Sidney Poitier. Columbia Pictures presents Sidney Poitier, River Phoenix, Little Nikita. 
and he also puts on another fantastic performance. So Hollywood might have had big hopes for him, but unfortunately life had different plans. And he is so handsome in here, so attractive. He has the charisma, the presence, the talent, like I've mentioned before, the acting chops. He had everything going on for him, but alas, the addiction to substances is eventually what uh, cut his life short. Uh, we will always remember you, and we have those great motion pictures to remember you too, and to appreciate your unfulfilled talent and potential. Rest in peace, River Phoenix. Well, we didn't watch entertainment shows, we didn't have the entertainment magazines in our house. As always, thank you very much for your attention, guys. I hope that you liked my short take on Running on Empty, the film from 1988, directed by Sidney Lamet. If you have liked my review, please give the video the thumbs up. Please share your comments on my review, on the film itself, on the cast, on River Phoenix and his unfulfilled career, uh, because it was cut short. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, maybe please consider subscribing to it. Maybe you could also recommend this video review to your friends. And that would be it. Thank you very much for your attention and until next time. Cheers. Bye. But people do remember but, but, but people do remember about Sine Lamed. It is a pretty worn out used item. For me it felt like it impeded on the morning process, right?